Well, greetings on this Wednesday. News of the day, again, is um, a bit on the, uh, let's call it the strange side, certainly with the follow-up to the body being found in a freezer in an old abandoned dwelling near Norway. And then the news becomes that the old abandoned house burned down completely. Uh, the mystery continues and investigation certainly also. Uh, today, we also get you, give you news that uh, Voorhees College has named an interim president. Uh, Dr. Franklin Evans has moved on to take the presidency at another institution. Today, also, uh, Governor McMaster uh, is in the news announcing that he has come up with a different plan for use of COVID relief money that it will no longer be targeted at uh, private schools where he had indicated he, it was going to was going but faced a challenge and is twice he has twice been overruled in the Supreme Court um, with the opposition being represented by Orangeburg attorney Schuyler Hutto. Uh, see news today also that uh, Johnny Wright has been reelected as chair of Orangeburg County Council and that is not a surprising move. He has been he's a long serving member and has has served Orangeburg County very well. In sports uh, Trevor Lawrence finished number two behind Devontae Smith of Alabama in the race for the Heisman. Uh, it was a great season. Uh, waiting to hear news from him as to his future, but almost everyone expects that will be in the NFL and likely with the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, so stay on top of the stories at the TND.com, uh, where we urge you to become a member and, and enjoy and consume all the local news that we can provide you. Thank you much and have a good day.